All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the build on the MCIMC9 Tainer House bus conversion. Show y'all where we at. Show y'all what some of the outside look like. It's been pretty cold the last past couple of days. I haven't been getting a lot done. But uh, I'm going to start right here at the air condition. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. At the air condition compartment where the mini split is. That's what it's looking like in there. I still got to bolt it down. This is what the outside of the bus is looking like right now. You know, I haven't started, did anything on the outside, but installed stuff. But the reason why I'm out here is because right now, I had to show you the mini split. I had to show you the plumbing bay that I'm doing. This is my plumbing bay. So, let me explain to you all what I have here going on. This right here is a gray water tank. And what this tank is connected to is the shower, both of the sinks, and the washing machine. That's what it drains into, this tank right here. This tank right here is a black water tank. This tank right here only consumes the sewage from the toilet. You see, I just finished installing. Still got to put the bands around it, keep it in place. But I got it all laid out and buckled all up and glued up and working. And on the other side over here, let me let me finish. Well, I'm gonna go to the other side and I'll come back and explain to you all what this side here does. But first, I want to show you. I got a valve here, a valve there, and a valve there. Those are open and shut valves. Okay, so now let's go around to the other side. So, let me show you the engine bay. Let's see. This is the engine. The engine bay. This is the um, Predator 5000 that I'm installing with an exhaust that comes out of the rear, which has to be cut and the vent put over it. This is the access bay to the Predator 5000. Um, that tank won't be there. That tank will be in the next bay up in the water bay. but. Um, the Predator 5000 runs off of propane and gasoline, and it's a remote start. Okay, so, then moving right up here to the other side. Excuse the mess. These batteries and um, solar stuff that I got down there, but I got stored down in a couple of pumps where I broke one pump. But this tank right here is the fresh water tank. Fresh water tank supplies all the water to the, the motor coach. Then this tank right here is the black water tank. Just looking at it from the other side. And the rest of those are bays. I'll show you those in a minute. This is the compressor that I took out of it to make room for the Predator 5000. I'm no longer using that compressor because I'm using the mini split. <clears throat> and probably other couple, a couple of other small heat sources, and um, probably put one roof mount. Okay, so let me explain this to you. This is the toilet line that runs into the black water. This is the shower line that comes from the shower 
and goes into the gray water. That line comes from the washer, dryer, I mean washer, the bathroom sink, and the kitchen sink. It runs into the gray, gray water. When it runs into the gray water, this tank is not that large because most of the gray water is not all going to be 50-50 water. It's like gray water, just used water. Some may have soap in it, some may have body acids in it, but it won't have just raw sewage in it, but some of that can be dangerous too. So this valve right here is coming from the gray water tank, and this is a check valve right well this is an open valve right here it opens and closed opens and shut so right here is a check valve in here that won't allow the sewage water to run back up into this tank because the water this valve only works one way it's a one-way valve this is a T so when you want to run the gray water into out you just open this valve up like so you see a drip right there because I tested it and then you open this valve up and once you open this valve up then the water is going to run from this tank out of this valve only then this valve right here is for the sewage so what you do is you keep this valve closed open up this valve then you open up this valve let the sewage out first this valve here i won't have to go all the way up in there and pull it because it's on a cable right here i'm getting ready right now to build um brackets and mounts to go around here so i can mount this cable onto it I'll be able to pull this valve from basically right out here somewhere and it'll open up. So once you run it, and then you hook this line, this line right here is where your sewage connects into your, all the sewage and the water and everything connects into this pipe from up under the bus and goes into the sewer. Okay, when you get finished, you just pop this off. But what you do first is you open up and let the sewage out. Then once you let the sewage out, then you, you, you close the sewage off and then you open up this valve here and it runs fresh water out of this tank. Well, gray water out of this tank will wash all the sewage down the drain and also clean out the pipe. But they won't clean out that pipe all that good. So that's why this is here. This is here so you can put like the water hose onto it and it's clear so you can see what it's gonna do, it's gonna wash from here all the way out of this 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 pipe. Out of this pipe. And once it does that, then this pipe will be clean. Then you just roll it up and throw it back inside. Okay, so that's what that's about. This this is the cold and the hot water line. It's feeding this side of the bus. Then there's a cold and hot water line feeding the other side of the bus. Also a pump that's pushing all the water from the tanks into the bus. It's crazy, it's a lot, but this is what you have to know when you're doing this. Because if you don't, it's gonna cost you a whole lot of money and a whole lot of time. So, this is the pump coming out of the fresh water tank, just putting it into that line, pumping it into the bus. This is the cold side, the main line. And it goes into a T and inside the bus and connects right beside the hot water line. Okay, so this is what she's looking like. Let's see if we can go inside. Oh, you gotta excuse the mess. Because I'm getting ready to work on this cockpit out here. But this is what she's looking like. Let's see. It's a hot mess up in here. I'm working on this part I'm getting ready to build this it's a hot mess up in here
Yes. Then what happens is that's the hot water heater right there. So when it comes up, the cold water line comes in, it hits that hot water heater, it tees down there, hit the hot water heater, and it sends hot water to the sink, to this sink, and that sink. So I just wanted to show y'all um, as far as the plumbing is concerned. And since I've done that, I guess I'm going to hit you back in two or three minutes. And as usual, y'all be blessed. Peace and bye for now.